Hey guys, what's up? Tobaloco here, and today we are back with a 2014 World Cup game. I hate this channel. No, no! 2010 won a little bit break. Uh, this one today is the Central African Republic. They're not on the 2010 game. Um, they are a one and a half star team, so I figured let's try and see if we can get as far as we as possible with this team. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about this nation. Uh, so yeah, all I know is all I know is it's considered one of the most dangerous nations in the world. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Probably because some sort of civil war, whatever that's going on. But we're going to be the Central African Republic anyway. So let's get into this. We've only got a few more nations on this. There's only about sort of like 10, 15 on here. So you know. Um, so what we're going to do is, as usual, we're going to shuffle the groups for five seconds. So ready, set, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're in Group A with Austria, Senegal, and Denmark. Quite a hard group. Quite a hard group. I hope this team is not like Eritrea because Eritrea were absolutely awful. But yeah, thank you for watching that video, by the way. It was, um, it was, it was a good. I think um, a lot of you did enjoy it, and um, we actually hit. Uh, 1,300 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I came up on my YouTube app the other day and I was like, oh, that's really cool. So hopefully um, we can push for 1,400 maybe by the end of the year. Might be a bit of a stretch, may not be. It depends how future videos go, but thank you so much for that. All right, let's go. Um, I think the next video I'm going to do is on the 2006 World Cup. Um, I want to do like a qualification thing, but I want to do it with a big nation, like a big nation like Germany or like um, uh, like England or, you know, so someone like that. I want to do it with a big nation. So if you've got any suggestions about who I should do the 2006 game with, then uh, comment below. Uh, also, like I always say, um, please check out Toby Local Extra. That would be really cool if you could. But let's do the first match, and we're against Denmark. Um, Denmark, I've been against quite a lot, quite a lot in playthroughs, and um, they are quite a tough team to um, break down, of course. Um, so we're going to see how well we do against this team. Um, all that I know is from the Central African Republic, I'm fairly sure, don't they have Condogbia? I'm fairly sure they have Condogbia, unless this is, yeah, is that right, Condogbia? That can't be right, surely. Evans Condogbia. Is that the right one? I'm not sure, that can't be right, because Condogbia, I don't know, it might be, but he's a striker here, he's not a, um, Condogbia is a, uh, a defensive midfielder on, uh, I'm fairly sure of it. I don't know. Okay, then our first match. Denmark versus uh, Central African Republic. I almost said Democratic Republic of Congo then. I was like, I'm getting confused. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're in Group A, which is the best group to be in because that means when I check the groups that everything will be refreshed properly. All right, here we go. I'm playing nicely. Oh, and Denmark just snatched it away from me. And already, Bentner. Oh, they got Bentner on. They got Lord Bentner. Um, this might be a bit harder than usual then. Uh, <laughs> I think Austria might be the weakest team that we could play against, realistically. Um, Denmark and Senegal are probably on the same level. Senegal were pretty... Like, they were okay, but they were unrefined. Um, like, the 2018 Senegal team was way better. Please don't mess about with this. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing, Toby? What are you doing? Look at that. I passed it straight to him. Shot instantly. Bang! Right off the post. Yes! Our first goal! And it is... K for four... Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not going to bother pronouncing it, but the Central African Republic have gone 1-0 up in their first ever World Cup. A bit of a basic goal. Got in front of that guy with the ponytail. I don't don't even know who he is, but yeah, decent goal. Would be nice if someone could tell me the highest finish of uh, this team, the Central African Republic or CTA. Bit of a basic first half. Nothing too exciting. Uh, why? Why? Why would you just not run to it? They're, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. You see a bit of swagger on that guy's walk, you know. Over the top. Is that going to be... Is that proper? Oh, oh, that's a pen, right? Yes, it is. Finally, the game actually gave me something that was actually legit. And it's that defender, the ponytail again. 
It's no name. Oh, what the f- oh. oh, it's Anderson in goal. It's not Schmeichel. Okay. My my mistake. We don't want to give away a pen. We don't, they're playing really well. They're playing quite well on the ball here. Passing it around with ease. I tackled him there, but the game doesn't count it because BS. You better ca Yes. And the last shot of the game. Is that game over? I don't know. It is. It's game over. We got a hit. A really good win against Denmark. We had to grind that one, but we did it. Denmark did push us at the end, but yes, three points on the board. We are miles better than what Eritrea did. Austria versus the Central African Republic. Here we go. Stadium is full of Austrian fans by the looks of it. This guy, Momi. It's Momi. Look at him. He's an absolute beast. This guy's going to catch him up though, Garrix. Don't, oh, he, he tried to wipe me out then, Ref. You see that training foot? Players, like, oh my, what is that pass, man? What is that? Oh, what the fuck? That can't be on, that can't be on, right? No, oh, well, apparently it was. Cheers, Ref. <laughs> he just booted it straight back downfield and I tried it. This is going to be the pivotal game. Beating Senegal is going to be very difficult. You think, like, Sadio Mane on that team? Like, come on. Oh, that's not a foul. I didn't even touch him. Look at that. He, like, ronaldo would me then. No, don't you dare. Oh, my God. Feynman scores. They sweated me, by the way. Like, old school tactic there. Go towards the ball. I'm holding the... Uh, there must be something wrong with that, surely. I'm holding it. Okay, now we can go through. No. Shoot! Oh, my God. Oh. No, don't wait for the ball to come to you, you bunch of idiots. Okay, that's good. That's good. No way. That was hell of a... That was good defending. That was, oh, that was bad by me because I should have shot way earlier. But I thought I'll get closer and just smash it into the net. There we go. That's what we want. A bit of luck. And this Momi with the goal. We got a little bit lucky on that, but it's fine, you know. Just need to play for the draw. Austria are so aggressive. Like, it's just, they're, they're like Japan was. And Japan was aggressive in the second game. I think they're going to score as well here. Look. Okay, maybe. I'll go towards the ball when I tackle. Okay. Can we get the cross in? Okay, maybe not. But we got the corner. It's fine. I don't need to make changes because the squad is already beast. AKA, I don't have any changes. Oh. Oh my god. No, Austria. Please don't. Please don't. Oh my god, I thought that went in. Like, as in, because the camera panned away. Bangardnia gets the yellow card for some reason. You better make that run. Oh my god, of course they blow the whistle. Of course. But that's fine. That's fine. We rescued it. And we got four points out of two games. Look at the actual tables then. So yeah, it's tight in my group. Um, anybody can go through in that one, really according to goal difference. Uh, group B, Poland and Brazil look like they're going through. Group C, Uruguay and Switzerland look like they're going through at the moment. Group D, uh, Spain and Ghana and Ireland. Uh, group E, uh, Colombia, Indonesia. Oh, that gate, that one's wide open, that group. Uh, group F, Honduras and Ecuador look like they can go, they can go through. Group G, Italy and England look like they can go through. Greece might be able to get through though. And Group H, the Netherlands and Burkina Faso and Peru look like they, they can go through. I think Macau are out in that one, but yeah. All right, let's play my last game then. This will be the make or break one. We are against Senegal. They are bottom of the table for some reason. I don't understand how. Here we go then. It's Senegal versus the Central African Republic. An all African standoff. Oh, maybe not because their defence just split then. Oh my god, that was a hell of a goal. And Momi puts the Central African Republic up 1 0. One absolute beast. What's he doing? Oh, he's surfboarding. Yeah, that's it. He surfed his way through the defence. And the Senegalese are not pleased about that. Look at this. I just went, yeah, fuck it. Shoot. <laughs> it just went straight in. Wow. What a statement from the Central African Republic. Oh, yes. He split them. He split them. Oh. Could have gone 2-0 up. That would have been really good. I hope the new World Cup game, when they release it, 
Obviously, it's going to be on the new generation of consoles. I hope that they make an actual game. Please don't make DLC again. That wasn't that wasn't the best idea. But you know they will because they want Ultimate Team to be in there. So it'll make money. I know I can demolish Senegal right now. I know I can. But it's just whether the players have the ability to do it. I, I can feel it. I feel that I can. But... <sighs> See, jumbled up shit like that. When that happens, it's just like, it ruins the attack. We're one nil up from that wonder strike, but I, I feel, I feel it in my body. I can demolish Senegal. Like, with a better team, I reckon I could. Austria winning 1-0 against Denmark, that's pretty impressive. Okay, Denmark have equalised. That's actually better. That's way better in my favour, just in case this game does go the wrong way. Oh, goalkeeper with a good save. And it's a corner for CTA. Okay, Sadio Mane. That doesn't look like Mane. Like, if you look from the... That does not look like Mane. Come on. Does that look like Mane to you guys? I mean, no. But then you've got to think um, the technology back then. Why do they take off Mane as well? Why? I mean, maybe he didn't break out in 2014? I'm not sure. He was at Southampton at the time. Oh, yes, there we go. There's the header. And it's you go with the goal. He is a towering centre-back. And he knows it. He he knows it. What is his team? The problem is, I tried to initiate an attack then, and it just none of nobody ran forward. It was just laziness, pure laziness. If you want to like get good form, you gotta beat a team like Senegal like three 0 or something. Oh, that was a good tackle. What's happening here? I I thought that was the penalty, but it wasn't. And that's it. We've done the group stage and we have got out with seven points. Well done. And Senegal are out. <laughs> bye bye, Senegal. We've got Portugal in our next match. Let's have a look then. So, in the round of 16, we have uh, CTA versus Portugal, then Uruguay versus Ghana, um, a repeat of the 2010 match. Of infamous handball by Luis Suarez in that one. Brazil versus Denmark, Spain versus Switzerland. Uh, oh, uh, Colombia versus Ecuador, uh, Italy versus Peru, uh, Honduras versus Venezuela, and England versus the Netherlands. Nice. Okay, so we got a good World Cup lined up here. We got Portugal in the next one. Here we go then, make or break time for CTA. One of the hardest matches they'll probably have for a while. Uh, Portugal versus the CTA. And we got all our fans here. Finally, we got our fans in the background. They've made the crest in the background. That's nice of them to do that in the ball. Oh, no, 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 no. Nani's through. Nani's through. Oh, that was a really bad shot by Nani. What's he doing? He should have had that. Like, I made a bad mistake. Oh, it's so delayed, man. It's so delayed. The, I pressed the button. And it's like, oh, did you want to pass the ball? Give us about five seconds. No, there's no denying Pepe. I need to try and get him sent off. That's that's what he's known for. Uh, in behind, it's Lingazi. And it might be an own goal. Oh, he just cleared it off the line. He just absolutely cleared that thing off the line. No way. Oh, my God. I, I knew as soon as he was going to wind that up, I was like, no, my goalkeeper wouldn't be able to handle that. Oh, how wrong. No, 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 no. He just dribbled it around my goalkeeper and scored. Oh, God. Yay. Uh, Portugal, everybody. Mm, yeah. Okay, well. I mean, this is bound to happen. It's going to be a hard match anyway, but. Oh, my God. Look at that. The goalkeeper didn't even get it. That's the problem. He didn't go down and get it. That's really annoying. Like, it always. It always comes down to like something like that. You need to run. See, he just knew. There's always one centre-back. I was complaining about it in the last match you get with Eritrea and stuff like that. There's always one centre-back that's always got you covered. Always, no matter what you do. And it's a trend on this game that I need to get used to. I, I would have scored there. That would have been the goal. Okay, well... Nani just got yellow for taking me out. That was quite a tactical foul because I was actually pushing forward. What was that? I tried to pass out to the right. This is just annoying now. This is just really annoying. Like, how on earth can you play with controls like this? Oh, they brought on Ed Air. 
the man, the hero of 2016. That was a good tackle. Don't switch my player. Dumb game. What's going on? I had the ball, man. I was about to push. But of course the referee would blow it. Oh my god, man. I'm getting so pissed. Oh my god. Miguel Feloso has shut me down so many times. It's unreal. Stop doing it. Miguel Feloso. Like, what the fuck? That was too late! You held onto the ball for far too late on that play! My goodness. My goodness. One last attack. Yeah, you still got it. You still got it. Fuck you, Pepe. Fuck you. God damn it. God damn it. He covered me so good then. And, yeah, Portugal. Oh, my God, man. This game is going to be really hard to get used to because I can't seem to pass the ball properly and there's always one defender on every single squad that shuts you down. Maybe not with Senegal and, like, like uh, Denmark when I beat them, but there's always one defender that goes beast mode and Pepe did it. It was actually both Pepe and Miguel Feloso constantly going beast mode and Portugal got lucky with their goal. Got so lucky. Reading left down, we got uh, Colombia being Ecuador 4-0, Italy beating Peru 3-1. I lost against Portugal 1-0. Uruguay beating Ghana 3-2. Uh, Colombia beating Italy 1-0. Portugal beat Uruguay 2-0. And then Colombia beat Portugal 2-1. Colombia went on to lose the final 2-1. And Portugal went on to lose the third place playoff against England 2-1. Reading uh, right down, you've got Venezuela beating Honduras 2-0. England beating Netherlands 2-0. Uh, Denmark beating Brazil 2-1. That's quite a shock as well. Um... Spain beating Switzerland 2-1, and then uh, England beating Venezuela 1-0, Spain beating Denmark 2-1, Spain beating England 2-1, Spain went on to win the final, England went on to win third place playoff. So that was your run with the Central African Republic. We did better than Eritrea. If you did like this video, then like it and subscribe if you're new with notifications on. That would be really cool. Keep the channel growing and stuff. Um, yeah, keep it loco. And I'll see you again for the next video.